Hello, and thank you for joining us at this session on how to quickly deploy your frontline workforce at scale with Microsoft 365 and Teams. I'm Zoe Hotoff, part of the Teams product marketing team, and I'm joined here with Tulsi. Hey, Tulsi. Hey, Zoe. Hello, everyone. I'm Tulsi Kesh Kamath, and I lead the product management team for Microsoft Frontline. I'm very excited about the topic that we are discussing today. Zoe, I'll let you take it away, and I'll see you in a bit. Sounds good. Thanks, Tulsi. Today, we're so excited to share how we continue to invest in products and processes to help IT get faster time to value with simple deployment and management tools that let you do more with less for your frontline. The frontline workforce is one of your organization's biggest assets, representing 80% of the global workforce. And they hold a vital role in your organization, often being the first to interact with your customers or patients, on the ground with your operations, and often the face of your brand. They are the workforce that have kept and keep the world and your business running. But while they have kept the world running, we are seeing record levels of labor market redistribution in the frontline workforce. And we know it's getting harder for organizations to retain and attract employees. Our Work Trend Index special report even noted that 51% of frontline workers say that labor shortages are making their jobs more stressful, potentially leading to burnout. This historic problem, though, is a historic opportunity. Empowering frontline workers with the right technology not only makes their job easier, but also serves as a way to retain and attract employees more easily. Again, according to that Work Trend Index, technology ranks third in the list of factors that could help reduce work-related stress on the front line. And 63% of frontline workers are excited about the job opportunities that technology creates. So we've found that companies that have enabled their employees with digital tools are finding they can again more easily retain and attract those employees. Now, all of this is just underlining the importance of the workforce and the reason many of you have already started to digitize them. As we have worked with you to deploy the frontline, we know that there are two core characteristics of deploying and managing them. The first is the size of the frontline, as most organizations' frontline workforce far outnumber their information worker counterparts. And the other is the natural high turnover rate. Now, I'm going to hand it off to Tulsi to really lean in and talk about what we're developing as solutions for you all to make this a little bit easier. Thanks, Zoe. As Zoe mentioned, today we can walk you through how we can help you to digitally transform, connect, and engage your frontline workers in three simple steps. Step one, deploy workloads at scale for your entire frontline. Step two, set up a structure for that frontline workforce that reflects their physical world and helps them become productive in their jobs from the get-go. And step three, use that same structure to enable seamless targeted communications across this large distributed frontline workforce. And when you get all three right, we see amazing outcomes for companies that have provided digitized solutions for their frontline workers. Let's take a look at how River Island did just that. Everything the River Island does is about the culture of bringing people together and driving full transparency. It's an inclusive environment and it's a place that we love to go to. Our store teams provide an exceptional level of customer experience. We support our store teams by providing them technology which enables them to serve our customers. Having worked for River Island for 19 years, having teams has really connected everyone. There used to be a quite a big divide between market to market or even head office and retail. This has now enabled me to actually put a face to a name and build more meaningful relationships now. And that's all thanks to Teams. We started with Teams into our store frontline workers that allowed our store staff to start to communicate a lot more efficiently than when they had done in the past. We felt that we needed a new device for the Teams platform to run on. We decided that the Samsung Galaxy X Covered would be the perfect underpinning piece of hardware to support our Teams. 
The way that we use Teams on the Samsung Galaxy X cover is everybody at the start of their shift will come into work. They will select a device of their own and a headset. They would log into their own personal Teams. They would also select the general store channel, select straight onto the walkie-talkie, and that will then put them as connected onto the channel so that we can all connect throughout the day. Yeah, let me just check for you. Aaron received nets for Aaron. Can you get a dress for a customer, please, in size 10? Having the walkie-talkie, it's so much easier to be able to locate a member of staff. You just literally click onto the walkie-talkie and then you can talk to any member of staff. We can locate what we're looking for quickly and give the customer what they want that way. If you are busy and you're serving a customer on the cash desk and somebody radios and you don't quite hear who that is, when you then go on to Teams, their picture comes up in the middle of your screen so you know exactly who that is that's talking to you. Having Microsoft Teams and the Scanned It app and the Samsung device has really streamlined our customer service. It means we can stay on the shop floor with the customers. We don't have to go to the stockroom and check. Everything's live, everything's on the go. Everything's very quick and efficient. So it's a lot easier on the customer's part. The way that it's made more seamless by having Teams on the Samsung devices is we're all so much more engaged. The efficiency that we gained and the hours that we've got back allows us to focus more on our products, more on our business, and more on our customers. Now, as we work with other organizations like River Island that are on the same journey, we see patterns in the jobs that a frontline worker performs as well as the attributes that map that employee to their job function. These attributes typically include the frontline worker's role. For example, are they a store manager, a cashier, their department? Is it back office, front office, bakery, pharmacy? And where they are performing their work, so their location. Now we can use these attributes to create the core foundational structure for frontline workers to perform their work in. Once this structure is set up, a new employee joining your frontline workforce can be promptly slotted into the right place, provisioned with the correct access, and put into the right team structure with their peers from day one based on all this information. And as employees naturally churn out of the organization, their access can be revoked the very day that they leave for added security. The good news is that this operational data sits in your HR or human capital management system, like say Workday or SAP success factors, and it is easy to sync it into AAD with the integrations that we have provided. Your frontline workers can automatically be onboarded and offboarded to Microsoft 365 apps without any additional work needed from an IT admin. To set this up, an IT admin can go to the Azure portal and click on one of our supported HR systems, in this case, SAP Success Factors. Then they can choose provision user accounts and enter their success factor credentials. Upon validation, they will get notified of a successful connection being established. It's that simple. The admin can also click on provision logs to check the status of the sync. In this case, we see all the users have been added successfully. Finally, we can go to the users section in the Azure portal to see the workers that have been onboarded from the HR system. This integration with your HCM enables automated syncing and maintains accuracy which allows your organization to automate downstream workflows with confidence. So say you want to target every store manager in a given location with some communications, you will now have the confidence that you're hitting exactly the right group. We will talk a little more about that in a bit. Next, I want to touch on the fundamental need for frontline workers to collaborate in real time with other workers in the same location. For example, doctors and nurses in one urgent care location or employees in one warehouse location. In terms of deployment, this means that a team's team needs to be created for each location, potentially with a channel for each of the departments within that location. This is different from information workers where teams and channels are often created iteratively over time. Frontline workers are not creating teams themselves. They need the right structure from the get-go. 
Today, IT admins either do this through custom work or they rely on each frontline manager to create a team manually for their store. This can be costly, it can lead to inconsistencies. We have made all this simpler with a new solution to deploy Microsoft 365 at scale for the frontline workforce, starting with Microsoft Teams. We help IT admins to create a team structure that maps the frontline workforce's real world into the digital world and helps them to centrally manage their frontline locations. Let me show you how. You can choose a team type from a list of default Teams templates or create a custom Teams template that best meets your organization's needs. Then, you can deploy Teams in increments of 500 per run in a few simple steps. First, prepare the two CSV files which can usually be imported directly from your HR management system. This Teams CSV file shows 100 test teams. You need to fill in the team name, define it to be public or private, and provide a template. This example here has the template ID blank, so it is going to default to a generic Teams template. The user CSV shown here has 10 users per team. Notice that the first team has three owners and seven members. The PowerShell shows the deployment command, which takes in three inputs, the team CSV location, user CSV location, and email ID for notification purposes. And the confirmation email shows a successful deployment. In the Teams Admin Center, you see that the teams created. Let's look at that first team. We see that it has 10 users added in successfully, seven members and three owners. Once the IT Pro deploys, they can stay notified regarding the success of the deployment status. Now, in case they hit an error, they get a detailed error report so they can make necessary connections and redeploy. Deployment at scale gives frontline workers a team structure from day one so they can start collaborating with each other and become productive immediately. When the teams are created, they also have walkie-talkie channels, shift schedules, and task plans for the whole location which can be centrally managed for success. This is valuable not just for central headquarters for scaled collaboration between corporate and frontline locations, but also managers who can now more easily publish shift schedules or daily tasks for their given location. While we built this feature with the frontline workforce in mind, this feature can be used to automatically group and create the right team's channels for any business need. Now, we worked on how your frontline workforce's team structure has been created. But then we also went a step further in creating an out of the box Microsoft Teams experience for frontline workers on FSQ licenses. We know that frontline workers have different needs from information workers and that they need intuitive experiences that reduce cognitive overload. So we tailored their team's experience with pre-pinned apps built with them in mind. These include Viva Connections as a home experience with activity, chat, teams, and walkie-talkie pre-pinned in the mobile experience. This pre-configured instance of Viva Connections has frontline specific cards, such as the tasks card, the shifts card, the approvals card, and top news. We've also pinned tasks, shifts, and approvals in the top positions of the overflow tray ahead of calendar and call if you want to access them from there. The desktop experience similarly prepins tasks, shifts, and approvals to the left rail. This new out of the box experience will also help to reduce the burden on IT admins around configuring the right initial frontline experience. At the same time, we are providing admins with granular control over the FSQ environment. Admins can turn off this default experience at any time, or they can start from here and further configure it for their specific business needs. Now that we have set up your frontline workforce, let's talk about the additional goodness that your corporate users get from pulling in the metadata from your HCM system. Corporate and operations teams can use the hierarchy setup 
to specifically target communications across the distributed frontline workforce. For example, they can reach all store managers on the West Coast for policy updates or all ER doctors in the greater Seattle area for crisis alerts. Before this standardization, departments and locations were creating their own team structure and there was no way to manage it centrally. This made it very difficult to share important communications with the right group at the right time. In fact, we found in our Work Trend Index special report that communication isn't trickling down. 63% of all frontline workers say that messages from leadership don't make it to them. Things are especially trying for frontline managers. 69% of these say that their higher-ups are not effectively communicating with them either. Now, with this standardization across your organization, like adding metadata related to location layouts, pilot information, and more, IT admins can scale operations and management across their high-volume frontline workforce with ease. Let's take a look at how we are making it easy to reach the right frontline audience at the right time. IT can classify a user as a corporate communicator in the deployment at scale hierarchy. When they begin to compose an email to a large targeted group, they can choose to use the attribute-based targeting feature. They pick the attributes of the recipients, which will get automatically mapped to employees who match those attributes. Then they finish composing their email and send it away. The correct frontline audiences will automatically receive it. Now this attribute targeting and metadata also unlocks other scenarios. It unlocks the potential of task publishing so organizations can publish and track tasks for the right location by mirroring the same attribute targeting of other communications. All of these solutions were built with deploying frontline workers in mind to make your job as an IT admin more robust but also simple. Thanks again for taking the time to see what we have built. I'm handing it back to Zoe to talk through how you can get started today. Thank you so much, Dulce, for your time and for walking us through how Microsoft 365 and Teams can help IT admins get faster time to value with simple deployment and management tools. This helps admin more easily maintain structure across a high volume and churn audience like the frontline. Now, not only can Microsoft 365 help you deploy and manage your frontline workforce, as well as help you retain them more easily as we talked about, but you can also experience strong return on investment from things like increased revenue from better customer experience and improved productivity. Now, want to learn more about the innovations happening for the frontline? Check out our Microsoft Tech Community blog about all the new frontline innovation coming this calendar year and our updated website for everything Microsoft 365 can do for them. And want to get started today and just start deploying your frontline? Well, check out our adoption guidance and success kits to get started. I'd love to invite Tulsi back in with me. That was great, Zoe. Thank you for joining us today. I hope this was useful for you to get started. Have a great rest of Ignite. We did it. Yeah.